Good morning, everybody. And I hope you're having a great day, night, sleep, <laughs> wherever in the world you may be. And um, yeah, so, so I got some, I'm gonna say some pretty awesome, I, I, I'm gonna say they're confirmation videos, confirmation glimpses kind of like a couple of picture shows that I received after doing my nightly prayers uh, kind of thing and um, yeah so let's start with a prayer first it's always good and that's always always great to pray um, especially uh, if it's something that uh, that that comes from the Holy Spirit from God one of the Trinity um, you want to pray that it's uh, it is it is what it is, and that uh, we are uh, we are speaking fluidly of what was shown us. So let's start. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for these visions that you gave me and bringing the peace, joy, and uh, love to my life every day. Thank you for the blessings. May this video, as well as others I have done, bring more and more people to Jesus because there's such an urgency right now. And uh, that this may shine the light on their lives and um, lift lift the veil of uh, deception and uh, the world and the blinding of uh, the sin of flesh off their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, this is recent. Today is the 13th of uh, May, uh, 2021. Um, Yes, I'm fully aware that we are in big time rapture watch right now. Um, especially the, sadly, the, the chaos and the unrest and basically uh, war uh, aspects that are happening in Jerusalem between the Palestinians and the Israelis. But that's another topic. Anyways, um... So yeah, so I so I'd finished my nightly prayers, and um, after after praying for the loss and the unbelieving, and the um, and uh, and then I usually pray for my brothers and sisters of Christ that we would be protected during these chaotic spiritual times until we get lifted out of here which hopefully many of us are hoping it's soon because the evil in this world is just becoming intoxicating. And um, so, and then, um, and then I, I, I sometimes, not all the time, I sometimes uh, kind of throw in there um, um, asking God the Father, like, uh, let me be seen worthy your eyes when the time does come to be taken up in the rapture like I said I do, don't do it all the time but I, I do it I do it periodically um, I am born again and uh, and but um, but yeah so so after after saying this these prayers and stuff like that I go to sleep and these visions I got they're like short little picture shows very shortly after I basically closed my eyes and, and like started sleeping I'd have to say I wasn't even really asleep yet I, I, like I'm, I was still kind of awake but I, I started getting these flashes and uh, they started off um, I started seeing the sky and then I started seeing um, seeing clouds so it was like some spots of clouds 
clouds here and there. And then all of a sudden, I mean like really, really quick, like boom. Um, I had this blinding bright light, like, like zoom past me. Like we were, we were floating or flying. We were in the air. We're like, we were, we were in the air. And all of a sudden I got this, this streak of, of blinding light past me, like on the left. And, and then once I'm able to kind of readjust my focus because, uh, cause yeah, it was bright. Um, I saw, <laughs> I saw this, uh, this strikingly white robe and, um, and trailing behind this white robe, um, was this red sash and, um, and then soon as I kind of realized what I was looking at, um, the image turned around and like was facing me, kind of like just like hovering there, facing me, and it was Jesus, like de like depicted like so many people have depicted what he looks like, or and that uh, like the long hair and and the beard and the the, the, the Middle Eastern uh, dark skin, that sort of thing, and I was just like, whoa. And then all of a sudden, the picture got bigger. Like, it, it, it expanded. I'm like, what is going on here? And then I see multitudes, I mean multitudes of people floating, or flying, however you want to put it, in the, uh, in the sky. So yeah, so people flying, floating everywhere. I'm like hundreds, hundreds, even possibly even thousands. The sky was full. And so I was just like, I was blown away. I was just like, wow. I was like, and I couldn't, I like, I was like, it felt like I was smiling while I'm getting this, like this, this vision, this, this, glimpse of what's to come one day soon hopefully and like I, I like I could literally feel myself smiling well I'm well I'm getting this and yeah so that was Monday night okay so here we come Tuesday night the following night the very following night do my nightly prayers and and I ask again and like, I didn't mean to, but I was just like, that vision was so epic night before. I was just like, well, I don't want to push it, but like, maybe I'll get another confir confirmation uh, vision kind of thing. So anyways, so I go ahead, do my prayers and go to sleep. And then shortly again, shortly after I have fallen asleep, I'm kind of almost drawn back into the same space I was. The only difference was is that um, the only difference was is that there were angels everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there were angels everywhere. And I'm almost thinking that they were always there. Sorry with the picture and that I'm getting a little bit of sun feed in that. Um, it'll, hopefully we'll get some darker. Here we go. So yeah, so there were angels everywhere and I'm thinking, okay, I think they were there before, but they were not visible. They were not visible. I could not see them. Well, in this vision, uh, I, that veil was lifted and I was able to see the angels and we were flying or floating or whatever because we were being lifted up by angels. Pretty much every single person had an angel 
that was what that was basically like they were flying with and that we were being we were we were flying up with with uh, with angels it was it was like whoa oh, oh. it was it was jaw dropping and again i was smiling i was excited i was happy i was just like whoa like what is happening here and then and then it was just like thank you lord thank you lord i was just like i was i was blown away and and like and i know many many people especially the last couple of weeks the rapture visions the left behind visions the tribulation visions destruction visions all of them have escalated exponentially like they are through the roof the holy spirit is is letting us know and even many people that aren't believers are being given visions because we all have the spirit within are all given visions but anyways those are the rapture dreams I don't want to really go too much longer in that and because I because I can start babbling and stuff like that but I will say the urgency to get saved and come to Christ is huge and if you simply don't know how it is the simplest thing ever okay repent confess you're a sinner ask forgiveness from God trust believe and have faith that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried in the tomb, and that he rose again three days later, which we see in scripture, and you are saved. Now, if you're done, if you do this with a whole heart, the Holy Spirit may actually come upon you. Because that's actually an aspect of I, I, I forgot that. I forgot to mention. Invite invite the Holy Spirit into your heart and, and and like like ask ask the Holy Spirit to come within and dwell within you and um, when we do this um, God God can set you free he can set you free of the grip of sin that is destroying people's lives all over the world um, the reality is it was destroying my life and uh, I, I'm, I'm a middle-aged guy that was struggling and battling everything that many guys are um, lust porn masturbation drinking too much um, I had quit smoking many many years ago but I would have the odd cigar um, anger issues uh, jealousy issues envy issues all, all the all the stuff that that like basically um, destroys our lives it literally destroys our lives and so when I gave my heart to when I gave my heart to Jesus and and um, it broke down and and was like I was I had hit rock bottom and I was like, God, I like, I need your help. Um, I can't do this anymore. Um, it was, it was like, it was literally tearing my life apart. I could, I could feel it. I could feel it in my spirit um, that what I was doing was wrong. Um, what would be considered sinful. And um, but I needed help to overcome. And right then and there. When I rededicated my life to Christ, because I've, 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 I've followed God all my life. I'm, I'm, I'm 46 now. Um, but I, I rededicated wholeheartedly my life to Christ, and, and he set me free. <laughs> he set me free from, from all, all of it. He set me free from all of it. Like, like if I was... If I was bound up like Houdini in an escape artist trick, uh, well, all those chains like dissolved, like all they dissolved, um, and it was.
was it was as though a switch had been flicked. I was the old me was gone. Like it was completely gone. Like like all the the fleshly desires and everything I had um, had been taken away. I no longer wanted this world. I no longer wanted to be here. Um, and since since then, I I can honestly say that. Um, let's hold on a second. One second here. Um, I can honestly say that um, my life has never been better. Uh, the 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 level of joy peace and comfort that you get when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and sets you free from the grip of sin is amazing. The Salvation Gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4. Give it a read. Set yourself free. And God bless. Bye for now.